So, I do have a gift for each of you all. So, go ahead and close your eyes for a second. Put your hands out. Put your hands out. Palms up. Palms up. Close your eyes. Please, please, please. Put your hands together. Why are you making a cup? Like a whole cup. Okay? February 13th, 2016, where we met, you know, we had soul, our soul snatched, okay? <laughs> and then we moved forward <laughs> with life since then, right? And so, uh, basically, I just wanted to say, you know, bless for your grace, you know, I'm enjoyed it with you, and, you know, I just want to continue that forward, and so, I just want you to know, I appreciate everything you've done, you know, sacrifice all the time and effort, and moving out of St. Louis to St. Louis again, so I know how much space that man you put into you when you do that, right? And so, I just want to know, I want you to know that I care about you and I appreciate everything you've done and what you consider, what you consider about me, okay? And so, whenever somebody says, where you been at, I want them to just be talking about the rules. Okay? Say it real quick. Say it for me. <laughs> With you. Okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> and so, uh, I just want to say, I love you. I'm going to move forward. The last four years have been great. I want the next four and beyond to be even better. So, I do have a gift for you two, though. So, go ahead and close your eyes for a second. Oh, I, can't. I can't take it. I can't take it, man. Please, please, please. I can't. Hands together. 
Why do you make my cup? Oh my god. So, I'm going to give you a gift. <laughs> You'll be okay. I'm going to give you a gift. It is actually my heart that I'm going to give you. Okay? I don't want you to ever drop it. I don't want you to ever misplace it. But I want you to keep it with you forever and always. Okay? And with my heart comes all the love and caring that I have for you, and I'm going to continue to have, okay? And so, just hold your hand out, and I'm going to give you something that represents my heart, and you have to choose to accept it or not, okay? So, let's figure out how it's going to go. for you. Will you accept this gift of my heart and will you marry me? Either way, you're going to have pictures to remember. Okay, so how do you feel? Did we expect to do that all? <gasps> oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I look crazy. No, I had no idea. Oh my god. So I guess you told him yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I, I was about, to tell, I I was about yes. to tell her. I'm like, I need a verbal yes, like on the exit row of the airplane. Like she was just making sounds and words. I'm like, I need a, I need a yes. You know, I gotta, I gotta make sure I don't end up on a, you know, proposals gone wrong or something. So. Of course I said yes. So basically, uh, originally we were actually gonna be out of town this weekend. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna do this on a trip somewhere. And then I had a work event that I had to go to that also got pushed back and canceled. So then we were gonna go to Houston and then, you know, we basically talked about it and we're like, well, we don't really want to spend that money right now. We can just do something simple in Cincinnati. And so I was like, well, I guess I'm proposing in Cincinnati then. And so uh, I decided, I'm like, well, how about I plan a day for us, you know, for, for Friday. And I'll take off that day like I was going to anyway. And, you know, obviously she didn't expect what was during that day and i made sure it was very early during the day so she didn't expect the second thing of the day would really be the proposal so even if she had an idea she wouldn't think the second thing of the day would be the proposal and i told her we're going to be taking pictures all day so be prepared to do pictures so to make sure she at least without warning her that it's coming to at least tell her you know to look how she wants to look as we're taking pictures and everything so that was that was my plan